I'm going to go to the gym right now. I was just listening to it to Joel. And it's amazing, but do we ever really utilize our pain? Or do we kind of like use it as a suffering tool? A tool to talk about our sufferings. Like an opportunity to vent. Or do we actually grow through our pain? Yeah, it's a painful time in my life. It's very painful. But I can see a better way after already. And I'm pushing toward it. I'm pushing everything out the way that thinks that it deserves to be in my pain with me or it thinks that it, it's the healer to my pain. No way. No way. Everything that is coming up at you right now throughout your painful time already had an opportunity to be a part of the solution. It wouldn't have been pain if the ones that think that they can clear your pain or be the pain reliever now, that means that they were the ones that was involved in the pain. And they're feeling pain too. So they want to come in now and retroact a new beginning which involves them. And really, you're like, no, no, no. And you need to stay no. Because your yes has already been revealed to you. And your new beginning has already been shown to you. You just need to grow stronger as you go through your pain. Yeah, you can act. We're going to have painful days. And they're going to cause us a little bit of defeat. They're going to cause us a little bit of tears. They're going to cause us some sleepless nights. But those days and those times and those experiences only grow that deep down inside of you, that pressure, that that urge, that, 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 that future, that... that tenacity, that, that ambitious, that, that goal-setting person that you are. All it does is build up that person that you have not used on the inside of you. And then you get stronger. But if you bring that thing back into your life, you're going to drop down and get weak. Because you fell weak to something you actually overcame. Be smart. Don't take your pain and pressure as an opportunity to pull out. No. Live through your pain. Go along with your pain. Let it get painful. Let it be more painful. Let it hurt. Make it feel something, feel something you've never felt before. Make yourself realize that in the end you will win you will win this fight in the end I believe I will that's one thing I know I believe that I am victorious and I want to have this pain I don't mind going through this pain because through this pain I am learning so much more I am beginning to be so much better I am living a life that I am so happy with but yes, the ones that were removed, the ones that's not around, yeah, they're going to play out games, tell you all oh, you this, this and that, what you do, 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 do. That's, that's obvious. Anytime somebody's not in the basketball game, they're complaining because they want to play. That's, that's normal. They're going to say that you're not the right coach, you're not this. That's just normal. But when you sit in your mind that you're already on the winning team 
and you know that blessings on top of blessings is your year and you're going to keep on living that way and you're going to trust God and you're going to believe that you can make decisions for your life seeing the circumstances seeing what happened and you can believe that God's going to step in and no weapons formed against you will prosper can't prosper have not prospered will not prosper God will never forsake you Jesus God the Holy Spirit everyone will be with you we're all one we're going to walk with you and stand with you no matter what you do that's the belief you need and that's the strength you got to go through this thing with we all have worries we all have problems we all have transgressions but it's how we come through them that means something in our life later it's how you come through it it's not how you fold up it that meant something to somebody. Trust.